Hello everyone, it's Jennifer and thanks once again for stopping by. Today I have a video on easy marker blending and this is a great alternative to watercolor but also gives the same look. I love the watercolor look, I know a lot of people like it right now, however sometimes it can be a little hard to control or a little bit intimidating. So I'm going to show you how to get a similar look with markers. So I'm using some stamps from Sweet Stamp Shop. Some of them are older, some of them are newer. I loved this greeting set on the side because it has lots of images that are small. So you can stick them into tiny places on cards or use them on the inside of your cards also. And this set also covers pretty much any sentiment you could want. It even has Merry Christmas on the bottom and Happy Easter. So you can take these tiny images and stick them anywhere on a card. So I'll be using a couple messages from there and I'll be using some of their newer sets. So I need to start planning out where I'm going to stamp my ocean. So I have my little sailboat here, and I'm not going to actually stamp him now, I'm just kind of placing him, and I am stamping the waves across the bottom here. On my acrylic block, I have one wave on one side of the block and one wave on the other side, so I can just flip it over when I want to switch to the other image. It's just a way to save time. I'm stamping with Versamark ink on watercolor paper, and now I'm adding some white embossing powder. It'll be hard to see these images, but I hope by tilting it in the light you can see. Now I'm going to heat set it. After doing that and letting it cool a little bit, I'm going to go add some more waves in here. I'm doing some of the thick waves and some of the thin waves. The stamp set has both thin and thick waves in there, so you can do a variety. I'm not following any kind of pattern. I'm just randomly stamping these across the bottom. So now I'm adding on some more white embossing powder and heat setting it. I needed to do it in two stages to make sure I was happy with where the waves were. Now before I heat emboss the boat, I'm going to go ahead and do the ocean here. Now I use white embossing powder on watercolor paper because I love the look of a white outline. And now we're going to add a watercolor look but without using water. So I'm using some Tombow brushes. I find these work really great as a watercolor medium, but you could try any markers you may have. I know Copics don't work for this, but any kind of water-based markers would probably work for this. Now I'm using a Dove blender pen instead of water, and you'll be amazed how easy this is. So I'm going to go through and show you how I did the ocean. I just put a quick line of the blue marker right underneath the white embossed wave and now I'm going in with my Dove blender pen and just kind of scribbling on the color and then pulling it down. You can see there is absolutely no method to the madness here. You just scribble and blend and it does the work for you. Now every once in a while if I get too much ink color on the tip of my blender pen I just scribble it off on some scrap paper there because I want to kind of make it fade out. Now under this wave, I'm going to do a different color of blue pen and kind of color over that with the blender pen and pull that color down. Now if you find a little bit too much color is kind of pulled up, you can dab it away with your finger or just keep blending it out with your blender pen and kind of scribble any excess color off onto your scrap paper. This is very easy. Now you could definitely use water for this. But again, if you find watercolor a little hard to control, this might be a good um, solution for you. If you don't have these Tombow markers, you could try other markers you may have. I know the Tim Holtz Distress markers work fantastic for this. The Tombow markers just happen to be brighter colors, so I wanted to have a bright color card here. And by the way, you don't have to heat emboss your image. You could just stamp with a permanent ink. Now there is another way you can use this Dove Blender Pen. You could scribble your marker right onto your craft sheet or an acrylic block, any kind of piece of plastic, and then pick the color up with the tip of your blender pen. So this blender pen you can use with any color. You just scribble the excess color off onto some scrap paper when you switch between colors. This is another way to do it. You can um, really use the marker and the Dove Blender Pen in any way that you want. So you could play around with it and see what works best for you. Now before I move on to the next step, I just want to heat set that to make sure that it's all good and dry. And now it's time to do our little sailboat. Now I am kind of brushing over this with my anti-static tool so that I don't get powder on the ocean. And I am going to stamp my little sailboat with Versamark ink right overlapping the uh, waves. I'm not going to take the time to ma mask. Instead, I am going to totally cheat. This is how I cheat. I go ahead and put on my white embossing powder. But before I heat set it, I take a very fine brush, make sure it's good and clean, and I brush away any of the powder that overlaps with the embossing that was already there so that I don't have um, you know, a cluttered look. I have a nice, clean, masked look, but I save the time of having, having to cut a mask. Sometimes this isn't a time saver. Sometimes it's easier to do a mask, but in this case, I thought it was. 
I also decided I wanted to stamp a greeting on the sailboat instead of this little skull and crossbones. So I'm just going to knock off the embossing powder from that message or from that little image. And then I won't have to worry about that showing up with the embossing. So now that I have a clean looking sailboat here, I'm going to go ahead and heat set it. And then we're ready to go. Now this is the point where I decided I wanted to white heat emboss a greeting on the sailboat. So I have one of those tiny little greetings that I showed you before. I'm stamping it with Versamark ink again and white heat embossing it. Now I wanted to blend two colors together, pink and orange, on the sailboat. So this is how I do it. I started with the pink and I scribbled it down and then I added some orange up towards the top and I'll just scribble over that with my blending pen and you can see it starting to blend. You get a great white highlight in the center if you wanted to but I need more color because I want that white greeting to stand out. So I'm just picking up the color from my craft sheet and you can see how easy it is to blend two colors together using the blending pen. Again, if you don't have the blending pen, you could definitely use uh, water for this. Now if you want a soft wash background like I'm trying to do for the sky here, all I do is I pick up a tiny bit of color with the tip of my blending pen and put that onto the paper. And you can go back and apply more if you want to. That's one of the nice things about using markers with a blending pen is you have a little more control over the color and you keep, can keep adding more if you want to or you can keep it super light if you want to. I also decided to stamp a few I miss you's kind of floating in the ocean so I'm using a soft blue ink for this. Now for the back of the note card, I decided I wanted to use the stamp set from my, um, Sweet Stamp Shop. I love these hearts that kind of fall down. Originally I was going to use a super light pink ink, but I decided to go with the bubblegum ink from Hero Arts. I think this is a fun stamp for adding just a little something to a simple white note card or a simple card. I was kind of too plain on its own, so this was just the right touch. It's amazing how a little touch like this on a simple note card in the background can make a big difference. So I matted our sailboat piece with some pink cardstock that matched that pink ink. And I put some foam tape on the back of it, trimming the excess off the top here. And there we have our card. So it's very easy to do. Again, you could do this exact same card with or without a heat embossing, or you could use water and instead of a blender pen. This is just another great option. As I mentioned, this video uses Sweet Stamp Shop stamps. If you're interested in seeing more of those, please click on the link that I have in my YouTube description or here in the annotations. If you're interested in all the products I use, they're in the YouTube description linked to multiple sources, or you can head over to my blog at jennifermcguireinc.com. Thanks so much for taking some time out of your day to visit, and I hope to see you again soon.